Beware of the superbug. The CDC is reporting every 15 minutes an American dies from a superbug infection. If that's not scary enough, now there are two new superbugs to add to the concern list. Infectious disease expert Dr. Ravina Kalar joins us now to explain. So how concerned should we be uh, about this? We should be very concerned. We are at a dire circumstance here. Rather than the situation getting better, things have gotten worse. The CDC report highlights that there are 3 million people in the United States alone which are in infected with these drug-resistant infections. And there are about 35,000 people that die in the U.S. every year. And I do want to emphasize that this is an underestimate. There, because the report only captures data from hospitals. It does not capture data from urgent care settings, from any um, nursing homes. So the report is actually worse than what's predicted here by the CDC. When we call these microscopic bacteria superbugs, basically what we're saying is they are resistant to treatments and that is where things are just getting worse, not better, Dr. Clark. What, what are, really quickly, what are these two new superbugs according to the CDC report? So the two new superbugs are a carbapenem resistant Acinetobacter belmoni. The carbapenem refers to a drug class, which is actually our last resort antibiotics. Acinetobacter belmoni is a very virulent bacteria. So this bacteria has developed resistance to our last class of antibiotics. And what make, makes this an urgent threat is that there are limited to no antibiotic drugs that we have to treat this infection and that it's also highly transmissible. The resistant genes are actually able to jump from one bacteria to another, causing the risk of spread being quite significant. And anyone that gets this virulent organism, you carry a 50-50 chance of dying. Are researchers wow. even close to coming up with an alternative treatment option? We are very far from there being any treatment available. And the one drug which is available, it was actually put in the back shelf about 20 years ago because it carries a very high risk of renal toxicity. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.